How's it going guys, it's Nathan from Only SP here and before I bring you this week's gaming memories I'd just like to point out that I know it was said that Grand Theft Auto 4 would be the first gaming memories for me but when I was actually doing the video I decided that um, I had a better idea for something more engaging and fun and um, that should be out um, by next week and um, it's kind of like an in-depth look in between um, older games I really like out of the GTA series and the new the new kind of GTA 4, GTA 5. Um, so without further ado, here is this week's Gaming Memories. Enjoy. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Gaming Memories where I take a look at some fond memories of games from my youth and past. Um, this week I'm focusing on the one and only Spider-Man 2, which is flipped on the camera but it's still spider-man 2 <laughs> um, so spider-man 2 came out in about ooh, it was 2004 it's nearly 10 years ago at this stage and um, 10 years ago it came out and i was just a wee little lad and i saw this being advertised everywhere and i really did like spider-man 2 the film because you know it was it was actually really good you know at the time maybe now it's aged a bit but you know it was it's still pretty good i, I think and I saw this game being advertised everywhere. And I was thinking, um, oh, I need to get my hands on that. That just looks so good. Like, it's everything you'd really want in a, a game um, about Spider-Man, you know. It's just great fun. Um, you get to swing around New York City, stop crime. Everything fun about a game for Spider-Man. <laughs> um, it, was, it was one of those games where... Um, I don't know if you ever, if you remember, but like back in the day, no one, um, not many kids had like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Like only a few kids had it. Like, you know, like one guy had it and then everyone else found out that he had it. And then they all went to his house to either play in his house, play the game in his house with him or ask, can you borrow it from him for maybe a week or a month if you were lucky, you know, you get to really um, spend your time with it. But um this was the game on the block that was kind of it was an infamous game like everyone kind of ha like wanted it but only a few people had it and I was one of those guys who really wanted it so what happened was I saved up for Christmas and I bought it um, before Christmas just before Christmas I'd say about um, it came out on uh, yeah it came out in June 28 2004 I bought this on November I think it was 16th um, 2004 um, and when it came to Christmas Day and I, I was opening my presents I was so excited to see like all the cool games I got but I actually just kind of said you know what I, I still kind of want to play Spider-Man so I did I went back into um, this room this room here and I, I played Spider-Man 2 all Christmas Day like all Christmas break actually like I just kept playing it I, I kind of forgot about all my other presents and toys and stuff and I just kept playing this game and the reason I re I like this game so much was um it really like it was really open and um, it, it it says like on the back here it just says take New York for a spin and that's pretty much what you did you just you you didn't really like the the combos and stuff in the game were okay you know it, it was fun to mess around with and do some cool tricks like i know there's one trick where you can um you can punch a guy i think i remember it now it's like square triangle x and you can punch the guy web him up and then string him up on a, a light lamp post or light post a uh, traffic light whatever in um the street which is really cool because like that's exactly a move spider-man would do but um yeah, like the combos now were fine, you know, the, the wall crawling was cool, but the web swinging in the game was exactly what you imagine Spider-Man would be like, you know? Um, like, if I had a bad day, what I would do is I'd put on Spider-Man 2 and I would just swing around um, New York City and it would, it'd be kind of like, um, almost like meditation to me, like it, it'd be a way for me to relax. Um, it was just so fun to... Um, to swing around the city and um, it was a mechanic that was kind of hard to master but it, it was easy to play like starting off you could just you could easy enough um, swing like swing this way swing that way and then as it started to introduce stuff like um, 
speed boosts and tricks that, that's when it really started to, to kick up a, a gear you know and I think um, I think it, it was just it was so much fun that's all I can say it was just ridiculously fun to play this game and swing around and I don't think there hasn't there hasn't really been a, a Spider-Man game since that does it justice maybe Web of Shadows I've heard but I haven't actually played that myself so like if that's any good like you know let me know in the comments below but I actually haven't played it yet but I really really still like Spider-Man 2 just for um, the web swinging craziness that goes on in it so there you go you can have a look at it there in all its glory Spider-Man 2 you know in the back there you know take New York for a spin oh like it's great it's probably one of my favorite games for ps2 it was just one of those games where i could play it for an hour uh two hours whatever and just have fun um mainly because the web swing was so addictive like you could just play it forever um everything else about the game was fine you know it was like you know, it was okay but this is the movie licensed game like of the century this is probably the best movie licensed game i've ever played i've played Batman Begins the uh, for PS2 uh, as a licensed game and that is awful that is the worst Batman game you'll ever play mm, maybe <laughs> it's 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 pretty bad cuz like you just you don't feel like Batman you just feel like this weird dumpy guy that's running around and scaring people like one mission has you like destroy a museum and make a um, like a skeleton of a dinosaur fall down on top of someone just to scare the crap out of him and I don't think Batman would really be up for that you know what I mean like he's not that crazy about um, destroying public property like that but nonetheless that's neither here nor there because Spider-Man 2 is still the best movie game you can get and I definitely think if you haven't played this before like you know you should definitely give it a spin and see what you think of it because it still holds up pretty well today. The graphics, not so much, but the mechanics are still really good. I know that the, one of the developers behind the game is, is actually making um, an, another game that it, it features a lot of the, um, the web swinging styles in it. I, um, I might, if I remember the link, I'll, I'll be sure to post it below. Um, and I really think you should check it out if, you're, if you did like the web sw uh, swinging in Spider-Man 2 or you kind of miss Spider-Man 2 and you don't really want to play it if you think it's too old or whatever. Um, I'll be sure to link it below. So that about wraps it up for this week's gaming memories. Um, I'm still continuing to uh, look through my gaming pile and think which is um, a good game to pick. Um, there's a lot of games here that I really do like but not so much that I have good memories about like I kind of just remember getting it and playing it but I do have a few more that I have fun random memories from when I was younger um, and I'll be sure to share them with you um, so if you like Spider-Man 2 um, and you agree with me that the web swing is phenomenal because it is <laughs> um, be sure to leave a like or comment below um, and just let me know what you think about it um, Okay, guys, uh, until next week, uh, take care.